Hi, it's Kurt from City Campus, and that welcome to another day of devotion. And as you know, this week we're talking about the abundant life. And today is kind of like the key one of that. It's the abundant life. So uh, we're going to be getting to our study in just a minute, but I hope you'll share and uh, subscribe if you're on YouTube. If you're on Facebook, share, like this. And on YouTube, please uh, subscribe and like and whatever else you do on that. And feel free to share these to Instagram or any other socials that you might be involved in. Uh, we'd love to have people see these. So uh, it's up to you to help us with that. Thanks. Let's get to our study. So we are going through the abundant life this week. And we've talked about the difference and a personal appraisal already. Today we're talking about living abundantly. And most of the time when we talk about living abundantly, we use John 10.10 10 as our verse, right? That's one that says the thief came to kill, steal, and destroy, but I gave, to bring, came to bring life and give it abundantly. I chose a little bit different one today. I chose Romans 15.13. I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him. Then you'll overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. As I was thinking about this, I thought, what's the difference between being defeated, depressed, destroyed, and being fulfilled, forgiven, and full of faith? I felt like Dave Hastings when I was doing that, getting all those letters to start the same. I thought I was looking pretty good as a preacher right there. Well, the Christ-forgiven life is what is the difference between those two, right? When he saved you by his blood, you're filled with the Holy Spirit. And your defeat, it's swallowed up in victory. That verse, oh, death, where is your victory? Oh, de death, where is your, your, your sting, you know? Defeat, where is your victory? Death, where is your sting? And your destruction, well, that's overwhelmed by the joy you know. Because you know Jesus. And this same God who takes care of me will supply all of your needs from his glorious riches, which have been given to us in Christ Jesus, Philippians 4.19. You can really defend, depend upon God to defend you, but also to fill you up and give you that life that is like no other. Well, for me, this is a great study, and I enjoyed looking that up and talking to that, talking to that little slide quite a bit. It's a little bit different than is in uh, Bill Bright's book. Uh, Bill Bright wrote a book on this many years ago, and I'm taking a little bit uh, from that book as we go through, at least using it as a guide. And um, it's really, really, really been a good study for me, and I hope the hope same for you. Uh, let's pray, and then uh, we'll get you started on your day. God, we love you. Um, we just are amazed that you would take weak vessels like us and fill us up and use us for your glory. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hope you have an amazing day, everybody. And we'll talk to you super soon. Bye.